Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell so you get all the notifications for any upcoming videos that I'm gonna be posting, which is pretty much all the time now. <laughs> um, so I have my Ninja Turtles collection to show you guys today. And we're gonna start off with uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Hyperstone Heist. Uh, I got this one on uh, eBay and I paid more than I wanted to, but that's all right because I'm a major Ninja Turtles fan. Ninja Turtles fan. <laughs> and uh, anyways, um, I love this game. I love the Super NES version better, um, but this is great. You can't go wrong with Ninja Turtles Hyperstone Heist. Um, next up is my pretty much, I think, probably my all-time favorite um, Super Nintendo uh, Ninja Turtles in Time. So Ninja Turtles in Time, my first time I got this game. I got it at Kmart when I was a kid. Me and my dad went there and I picked it up. And man, I just I just played a ton of this game and, and just enjoyed it so much. And didn't realize the impact it was going to have on everyone from our generation later on. Um, you know, and how popular it would still be today. Um, I also have the one-up cabinet with this, with the arcade version on it. Um, I posted a video about that, but... Um, you know, I think I can do a better video. It's my very first video. It's very dark. So I would like to show you guys a better representation of my one Turtles 1-Up cabinet. Um, so yeah, this is this is very close, near and dear to my heart. And uh, yeah, so Turtles in Time, you don't have it, Turtles fan. You gotta have this. Uh, next up, Super NES. Or uh, Super <laughs> NES, my bad. Um, so anyways, uh, I enjoyed this a bunch on the NES. Um, yeah, and it's, it's great. And you can't go wrong with it. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Battle Nexus. So this one here, um, I liked it. I haven't finished it. I got pretty far into it. Um, there's a part in it where you, um, like have to carry around this robot and they don't tell you how to do it. So I had to go on the net and search for it and everything, you know, cause I just couldn't figure it out. It's a pretty, it's not too far into the game either. And it's pretty, pretty rough, pretty rough part to get past. Um, this actually does have on the back here, you can see it. So it has the arcade, um, port of the game, but it's apparently, I haven't unlocked that. Apparently they're the music and they've, they've done some tweaks and it's not too original. So a lot of people had some issues with that. And, um, but I, I still look forward to unlocking it eventually in this game and trying that out. Um, so next up, same game, but I have it on the Xbox too. <laughs> um, I believe it was also on the PlayStation 2 as well. Um, so yeah, same game, but I actually like it better in the Xbox case. <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually an Xbox fanboy, and uh, probably then well probably my first is 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 Nintendo, yeah Nintendo first. Uh, all right, next up, got uh, Smash Ninja Turtle Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash It Up. Uh, this is cool. I played it a bit. It's all right. It's it's a Smash game. Operates like a Smash game. So I was happy to get this. I think I got this at GameStop pretty cheap. I think it's climbing in value just a little bit, not a lot. Um, very excited when this was released on the Xbox. Um, I don't know. I think it could have been simpler. It wasn't, you know, there was more mechanics, which was cool. But, um, you know, uh, yeah. So, but still a great game. Still a great game. I thought they did good. It's not Konami, but <laughs> it's good. It's all right. Um, next up. These are the newer turtles. It's like, eh, you know, like this this version. I didn't really care too much for, but it's still cool to have it. Um, so yeah, this is just TMNT. <laughs> All right, so that's my game collection of uh, Ninja Turtle, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Or uh, let's see. So next up we have um, toys in my collection. So this guy right here, I've had him pretty much my whole life. It says right here, so, you know, that's the little license tag. And then on the back, it says um, Mirage. So there it is, Mirage Studios. You guys can get that, or I don't know if it's going to, if I can get it to show, or it's... Anyways, anyway, anyways, I tried. Anyways, it says um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 1989, Mirage Studios, all rights reserved. So... 
you know, so I got this in 89 and I got it at Circus Circus in Reno, Nevada. I actually had a humongous Michelangelo just like this guy. And um, so, yeah, I've had this pretty much my whole life and uh, super cool to still have it now. You know, so this thing's well, like pretty much 30 years old. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's a really nostalgic, cool piece in my collection. Um, next up, so it's a pandemic, right? <laughs> Gotta have my Ninja Turtles mask. Yeah, I thought it was pretty awesome to, to have this one. I also, um, have a Ninja Turtles tattoo that I'm gonna put a clip in the, uh, in the video. So you guys will get to see my Ninja Turtles tattoo. Um... Next up, my wife did, likes to do these little little dolls, and so she painted me up. This was some of her first ones. She's even uh, better now than she was when she started, but these, I think they're excellent. So uh, we got, <laughs> so shuffling them here, let's see. So I got Raphael, and she, she got his little size there. And then, uh, oh shoot, there goes one. <laughs> uh so then anyways we got uh michael or that's donatello and then we got uh leonardo and then we got uh oh and then she did one of me in my jersey i'm gonna show you guys my jersey in a minute so um yeah so this is me <laughs> she did me she even got my tattoos <laughs> super cool my wife is very talented um let's see so next up this was a freebie i got this uh donatello uh, I think at the beach, some some little kid left it there, and I picked it up, and um, so yeah, that's my Donatello, and uh, my wife's uh, nephew, or yeah, uh, he uh, he gave me these. These are uh, um, McDonald's toys. Yeah, so I got them. You kind of pull them back, and then they kind of have that spring-loaded uh, mechanism where they race, and then I got. Um, then I found this one at the beach, and he's been growing dust hair. <laughs> he's been growing dust hair, and I just haven't uh, cleaned him off. I super glued him to this lid of a jewelry box that I have, and he's been on there for, oh, by like 10 years, and I haven't cleaned him, so, but uh, I gave him a little R for Raphael and painted some size on him. <laughs> That's my Raphael, my ghetto Raphael. Um, all right, so I got this one for free. And I was very lucky to get this for free. But this is my um, uh, Jim Lee's. Jim Lee's Michael or uh, Raphael. And so I was, I had a friend and I went over to her house and I was buying some games from her. And she hooked me up with this. And I was like, no way. <laughs> Super excited to get this. Um, yeah, and this is, this is over 20 years old and it's boxed and I probably won't ever take it out. Um, Condition could be a little tiny bit better, but hey, I ain't complaining. It was free. It's a great, great piece to my collection. Um, next up, I got a couple pops. I don't collect pops, but one of these was given to me, and then I was at Ross. Ross is super popular out here on Guam. We're just getting a third one now. <laughs> um, so I got Michelangelo, like the standard one, and then I got a pixelated uh, Raph. <laughs> And next up, uh, a little dust there, <laughs> a little dust. Um, my wife got me this, and then it says my name, and it's got uh, Leonardo on it. So pretty stoked to have this in the collection. Um, kind of personalizes it a little bit. Uh, let's see. Shout out to my buddy Sash. You know who you are. Uh, he got me this as a gift. I think this was last Christmas. He hooked me up with this. He saw this at game. Or he, I think maybe he just hooked me up with this. Yeah, he just hooked me up with this. This, is, uh, this was a cool collab, man. This was an awesome collab that was done with Batman. Um, I was a little skeptic. But, man, I mean, how can you go wrong? Ninja Turtles and Batman? Come on now. Um, so, yeah, this one, this guy here is awesome. I know they made other figures for this. There's like a, com like a complete set, a whole thing. I wish I had those, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, super stoked to have this in my collection and I got the box, pretty, pretty cool box. Oh yeah, it actually shows. So the, here's, here's the other figures that are, um, that they did. 
and I'm sure there's others as well, but these, yeah, the raft looks super cool as well. But yeah, this is an actual scene from the movie, if you haven't seen it. So when you see the movie, there's an actual scene where he dresses up as Batman. <laughs> so I got that, and then I've got a grip of keychains that my wife got me, I think last Christmas. So I got a, I got a rock steady. I got a rock steady. And then I got an April Neal. They're almost like little pops. Yeah. Yeah, so I got those. All right, so we're nearing the end of the video here. I've got a... I've got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles hat that I've had for quite a man. I've actually kept this in pretty good condition. It's Cal Bunga on the back, and uh, it's licensed by uh, Nickelodeon. <laughs> so... Yeah. And then this one, New Era does, I'm a big New Era cap fan. I love New Era. So um, I, when I saw New Era was releasing, um, you know, because the quality they make when they're making, you know, they're going to make turtles. I got really excited. So I got lucky before it sold out and I had it sent to my aunt's house uh, in uh, Monterey, California, and then she forwarded it to me. So I was very happy to get this hat and have it in my collection. Um, Next up is my turtles jersey. <laughs> Love this. It's excellent because I live on the island, you know, and uh, you know everyone wears lots of tank top, lots of tank tops here. So I love this one. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm always open to uh, any donations you ever want to do to my channel to help to help support. So you can mail me at PO Box one seven four one Haganya Guam nine six nine three two if you feel like it. If you like supporting my channel or sending me anything retro or game related um, to support my channel, it would be much appreciated. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming and uh, watching my video, and don't forget to don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye.